Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to week two of the WAC Rocket League season. My name is Brendan Miller, and we are back. Indiana Tech last week got off to a good start, about as good as it can get, sweeping away Lawrence Tech, their rivals from 2021. Today we have a new challenger approaching as we have Concordia University and Arbor. As we are going to get ready to go here in just a moment, the Warriors have a new wrench thrown in the fray. As there is no Kazi for this one, the Warriors had to pull upon a B-team player. His name is Stax. He was actually funny enough going to cast with me today, but he has been thrown in the line of action. Once again, my name is Brendan Miller. Welcome to week two of Whack Rocket League. We'll get this thing going here in just a moment. Indiana Tech led by Chippy, who had nine goals through his first series in Lawrence Tech. Concordia, a roster that I believe is well improved from the last couple of seasons. New roster to me, new new roster for a lot of people, um, and yeah, it's 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 pretty new. It's pretty new. <laughs> um, the Warriors will take on Siena Heights tomorrow. Uh, that is the runner-up from last season's WAC Rocket League event. As uh, um, they, it it was an absolute thriller between Siena Heights and Rochester, and this year. We'll see where they finish. I believe there's some roster changes for Siena Heights uh, on the way. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we'll find out when that time comes. But we're just going to wait a, wait a couple moments for Concordia to get ready to go. Um, but yeah. We'll also be, I believe, we are broadcasting our Valorant match following this game immediately. So for those who are looking for Indiana Tech Valorant, that is coming up soon. It'll be, I believe, there. It might be their stream debut, actually. The, the Valorant team in their inaugural season, brand new. We'll see how that goes. But once again, we are just waiting. Concordia, I believe, uh, they have already played, uh, I believe, Rochester. And I'm trying to remember who else they played. Uh, I know they got... I know Rochester beat them three games to none. Um... And I am actually checking the, the stats right now as we as we wait. Uh, yes, so Concordia, they are... Maybe one and one. I'm double checking right now as we wait. Um, they... They did. They beat Lords three games to two on the fifth. And then they... Um, they got swept by Siena Heights. So they have not played Rochester yet. I apologize. Uh, they played Siena Heights as well on the 5th and lost that. Uh, three games to none. So a little bit of backstory for them. The Warriors, this is their second game of the season. They'll play Siena Heights next. Uh, for Concordia, the roster shows as follows. You have Keats, Z, B-Dog Rules, Troyer, who is the one name I recognize from the past, and Solemn Nugs who is their fifth. They have seven goals, five assists, 28 saves, 48 total shots on season. The Warriors, led by Chippy, 11 goals, six assists, seven saves, 24 shots. Stax is getting his whack debut today. For Concordia, Z leads that team in goals with four. Uh, Troyer and Keats both lead in assists with two. Keats leads in saves with 17. And we have a tie for all three of them, I believe, with 17 shots apiece. We are about ready to get going. So we will get this party started. And again, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Soon? Soon, I believe. I think I saw them come in the lobby. Ah, they're, they're getting a player in. We're working on it. We're working on it. I believe it was Troyer and Keats, by the way, or Z, with seven, both had 17 shots. Now they're ready to go. We're going to get this one going. It's Keats, Z, and B-Dog Rules to get us started today. So sit back, relax, and enjoy Game 1 between Indiana Tech and Concordia Ann Arbor as this kickoff goes straight to the near sides. It is wide up the right wall. Takes it off the wall, looks to stay with. Kicked away there by Keats. Chippy on target. Off the pipe, just gonna rattle around in front. Z with a half flip with clear attempt. Chippy meets that one into the corner. Keats will swing and miss. Stacks to the backboard. 
Rebound out in front. That's Chippy with another shot. Turned away there by Z. B-Dog staying close to this one. He's been down by Wyatt. Eats will look to follow through. Gets it around Stacks. Chippy from behind going upfield. Looking for Stacks. Nothing there. Chippy to the backboard. Rebound out in front. And it's cleared away by B-Dog before the rebound gets into a dangerous spot for Wyatt. Stacks to the middle. Wyatt not able to get a good touch there. And Z comes back the other way. He'll take to the sky. Chippy kicks it up over the top of him. B-Dog sends it back towards his own net. This is dangerous. Wyatt is on it. Keats will kick it around him. Stacks off the sideboard. Goes right back to Keats. And back the other way comes Concordia. Keats. Flip reset in hand. Chippy able to handle that one easily. Ball gets around Z for the rebound. Keats back into his own end. And Concordia looks to reset. It is Chippy and Keats. This one goes all the way back towards the Indiana Tech end. Stacks is on it. He will keep it along the backboard. Keats pinches it up over the top. Chippy from up top clears it back out. Keats forced to recoil. Chippy will follow. Now he turns over towards the side. Z is up. He'll go to the corner. This one will roll up. He'll look to stay with it. Drops it down in front. Wyatt right there. And the 50 is won by Indiana Tech. Still in the corner though. And a threat here for Concordia. Keats loses the 50 there to Wyatt. Z kicks it a little bit further. Concordia just hanging on with the pressure here. Stacks pops it high. Looks to stay with it. Chippy is there. Off the sidewall looking for the follow through. Not going to happen. Wyatt will demo B-Dog. Speaking of Wyatt, he's still on it. Now he gets demoed by Keats. One touch towards the middle. B-Dog is behind. Tries to flick it up over the top of Stacks and does. Now Chip looks to do it himself. 50-50 in front of the net. Towards the net once more. It's just going to go through the goal mouth. Wyatt has it. B-Dog forced off the ball. Wyatt dropping it down looking for Chippy. Z will clear. Stacks watches this one back in the corner. Z out in front. Stacks keeps it in the corner. Looks to stay with it. Chippy demos B-Dog. Wyatt will look to keep it moving forward. Has no boost in the tank. Just boots it towards the net. Kicked back the other way again by Concordia. And now Chippy will continue this game of ping pong. A slow start here to game one as both teams feel each other out a little bit. Wyatt looks to go to the skies. Up over the top of one. B-Dog is there. Will drop out into midfield. Stacks will turn. Throws it towards the net. Just a little bit wide. And this one kicked to the side by Keats. And Concordia looks to counter. He gets it up over the top of Chippy. Stack's not able to make contact either. Wyatt is back. He'll clear it up over the top of two. Z is awkward. It's past all three for Concordia. Wyatt with a chance, but it's cut off there by the Cardinal defense. Stacks one more towards the backboard. Shut down there by Keats. Chippy off the side. Leaves it for Wyatt. Wyatt looks to cut. Up over the top of one. Up over the top of two. Z will get to the backboard. And he'll clear it back out to the side. Z up over the top of Stacks. Wyatt will follow in the corner with it. Z is there, Wyatt off the ceiling, drops down in front. B-Dog is there, Stacks looks to keep it in, he'll boom it back towards the backboard. Keats off to the right side wall. Chippy will keep it there, looks to stay with it. One touchdown looking for Wyatt, 50 50 out wide, and now Stacks back the other way. It is B-Dog actually winning that 50, and Concordia finally breaks out. Chippy forced to play some defense, stops one, Keats up towards the backboard, Stacks is up, still loose out in front, and Wyatt has some time here as the threat comes from Concordia, but handled well by the Warrior defense. Chippy up over the top of Keats, looks to stay with, takes to the air. Up over through Z. B-Dog in the backfield, just waiting, kicks it off to the side. Gets the doink up over the top of two, and it goes back to Chip. No boost in the tank, so he'll do what his name says and boom it downfield. Wyatt to the backboard, looking for the follow-through maybe from Stacks. A swing and a miss there from B-Dog. Chip with some time and space and plenty of boost in the tank. Flip reset in hand. Keats able to kick it off to the side. Wyatt will stay with it. B-Dog is there. Stacks looking to come up to help. Not going to happen. That's a break there for Concordia as they get it all the way back downfield, but only as far as Chippy. Eats now. Had the ball up over the top of him by Chippy again. Look to go for the bump. Z will pop it high out in front of the net. And B-Dog off the side. Dangerous Chippy on target, and there's the first goal of the series. It's Chippy with his ninth of the season. 50 seconds to go in game one. The Warriors have the lead. And who else other than Chippy? It's just kind of been a slow defensive grog. Neither team really extending too far, but Concordia a little too wide. This time, the Warriors get the first goal of the series. Kickoff goes back towards Wyatt off the kickoff. Redundant, but it works. He takes to the air, up over the top of B-Dog. Z is right there. We'll meet him in midfield. Chippy taking some time. Up over one, trying to get through two. Keats is awkward. Off his own backward. Chip is there. Flip reset. Doesn't have much. B-Dog clears it out. And Z will send it further, but only as far as Wyatt in midfield. Off the sidewall. Look for Chippy to follow through. Wasn't going to happen. Stack swings and misses on the challenge. Now Keats will boom it back downfield. Looks to get another. 50s all the way into the far corner off of Chippy. And Concordia, 15 seconds left on the clock. Looking to equalize this game. Chippy will boom it downfield. The net is open for Wyatt. And the Warriors are going to take game one by the looks of things as the lead is doubled. 
with nine seconds to go. Chippy with the good clear. Wyatt camping out downfield. We call that cherry picking. And it is 2-0 Indiana Tech with nine seconds to go. The Warriors looking to extend the win streak to four. As Stax just keeps it along the sidewall. And he will kill the time. Indiana Tech, just like that, has taken game one. Pretty uneventful last nine seconds. It didn't have to be as the Warriors just looked to kill the clock. Stax debut begins with a win. Chippy five shots on goal. One of them went in. One assist as well on Wyatt's goal. Stacks with the lone save for the Warriors. Shot 6-2 in favor of Tech. As we look to get going here in game number two shortly. But a good start for the Warriors nonetheless. We'll just see how the rest of this series goes. Again, the Warriors without Kazi for today's game. So they had to go with Stacks. Chippy and Wyatt so far unbothered. Once again, this is week two for the WAC for, the, for Indiana Tech. This is game number two. Again, they play tomorrow as well. They play Siena Heights. But sit back, relax, enjoy. Let's not worry about that. Let's worry about this game, too, between Indiana Tech and Concordia Ann Arbor as B-Dog straight back into the corner for Chippy. He'll look to take to the skies. Flip reset in hand. Keats pre-jumped him like four years ago. And back the other way comes Concordia. Keats not able to keep going. Stax was just going to hesitate with the ball. He's going to get a 50 there on Z. B-Dog towards the backboard. Stax is there. He'll kick it forward. Keats will try to wrap this one around the boards. Chippy, not a lot of boost. This one out in front. Wyatt will boot it back away. Stax, I think, got bumped out of the net. And now Wyatt. Low 50. It pops high. Looking to stay with it. Towards the net. Stax with the rebound. It's turned aside. Chippy with the open. Hits the crossbar. And now Stax to the right side as the Warriors look to get that one back. Chippy will wrap this one around the boards. Now back out in front. Wyatt's right there. And the Warriors are up 1-0 again. It is 1-0 Indiana Tech with 4.13 to go as they got started a lot quicker this time. Chippy making up for the mistake with an assist, setting up an open net for Wyatt, and it is 1-0 Warriors. It is Wyatt to the near side off the kickoff. Looks to stay with, pops it out towards the midfield, looking for some follow-through that's not coming. Keats recoils, turns back. Turned away there by Chippy as he was up four years before. Z to the backboard. Wyatt up to help. Looks to stay with it. No boost in the tank. Chippy clears it out a little bit further. Can he stay with it? Z on target. Past Wyatt. Can Stax get there? No! And Concordia is on the board. It is a 1-1 tie as Z just kept the pressure. He got it behind Wyatt. Behind Stax. Chippy was still recoiling from his previous commit. And we are tied at 1. 3.51 to go here in game 2. Tied at 1. As the kickoff goes to the far side. Chippy up over the top of him. Keats looks to stay with it. Wyatt will come into support. Z is up. Wyatt looks to stay with it down low. He's got to get around B-Dog. Wyatt has made a living out of ones. Tries to pinch it off the man behind him. Stacks with the rebound. Wyatt will just kick it high. Wyatt into the middle looking for Chippy. It's up over the top of him. Stacks it's awkward for him too. Keats with the clear the other way. The counter coming for Concordia. But it's cut down by Wyatt as Z just forces it back into the backboard. Chippy is there. Looks to stay with. Has another touch. B-Dog. Chippy with no boost in the tank. Now he's got 100. This is where he's dangerous. Keats able to bump him off the ball. And now Z back the other way for Concordia. Flip reset in hand. Goes underneath. Keats up the right wall. Looks to stay with it. One more. Drops back down in front. Still in the corner. Now bounces out into the slot. Z with the shooting opportunity. It's high. Stacks coming in for the rebound. Z one more. Swings and misses. Cordia storming here as Keats will try to move it forward, but it's kicked out there by Indiana Tech. Z back into the corner once more. Wyatt's right there. He looks to stay with it. Low 50. Stacks coming in to help, looking for the clear. Keats off the corner. Wyatt just keeps it out. The Warriors struggling to get out of their own end here, but here comes Chippy back the other way. Up over the top of another. Kicked out to the side there by Keats. B-Dog fakes the touch. Stacks a little bit far back, but gets a good 50. Into the opposite side. Wyatt bounces it back towards the middle. Chippy to the backboard. 
It's going to drop down out in front. Wyatt will just keep it wide. And B-Dog back the other way. Chippy, one touch, keeps it there. Looking to move forward. Stacks off the corner into the midfield. It is Keats. Looking to move it back the other way for Concordia. Wyatt just slow plays it. Both teams kind of just waiting for that next mistake, it feels like. Here's a shot on target. Kicked out by Chippy. Z has it here. Stacks with him. Goes into the corner. Z will stay with it. Pops it out into the slot. Wyatt off the backboard. Awkward, but Stacks is there up over the top of one. And this one comes back the other way. Counterattack starting for Indiana Tech. Chippy pitches it high. Off the ceiling. Wyatt is up, and it's just turned away there by Z. Chippy stays with it. 60 boost in the tank. Underneath looking for some help. Chippy on target. Kicked out by Z. And the rebound is held by Wyatt. Keats will try to move it back out. Flicks it up over the top of Stacks. Chippy is there and it goes back towards the Concordia net, but only as far as B-Dog. Up over the top of the bump. Chippy off the backboard looking for help. Stacks comes in off the backboard one more time. Wyatt circles back. Turned away there. Deflected wide rather by Z. And now Chippy just off the corner looking for help. Goes into the midfield. Is anyone there for the Warriors? No. As they're all low boots. Now Wyatt comes forward. Gets a good 50 for Stacks to send it downfield. Wyatt's there. One touch around one. Off the backboard. B-Dog is there. Chip or Stacks rather sticking with it. Keeping it awkward. Now Chippy looking for the high shot. Turned away there. And Concordia looks to come back the other way. No. Wyatt out in front looking for Stacks. And there's his first. The sub coming through and getting his first goal in a big spot. It's 2-1 Warriors with 46 seconds to go. And it's Wyatt this time bulldozing it through the middle. Forty-six seconds to go here in game two. The Warriors with a 2-1 lead. Wyatt with the dunk and is turned away by B-Dog. The rebound, they're waiting for Stacks, and it's just a little bit too slow. Stacks will pop it high. Z is there. Chippy to the backboard. Where's the follow-through from the Warriors? This time it's Stacks. Chippy will keep it in the corner off the off the deflection. Looking for Wyatt down low. Redden kicked out there by Keats. Wyatt looking to take control off his own backboard. 20 seconds to go here in game two. The Warriors looking to stick with it. It's Wyatt. Had it taken away from underneath there by Z. Him and Keats both there. Chippy off the backboard. Two up for Concordia. Ten seconds on the clock. Wyatt downfield into the open net. And we've got a repeat of game one. The Warriors double up with six seconds to go. And this, this series has actually been a pretty close fight between these two. Concordia, like I said, a much improved roster from previous years. And this is not a team to sleep on. Stack's actually the one who makes contact there with the kickoff. The Warriors, triple match point, a familiar sight. We saw this last week. They're up two games to none, and they're going to get a free one. Chippy off the own goal. It's 4-1 Warriors in game two. It really doesn't matter. Wyatt will take the free assist. And the Warriors are up two games to none. It is close. It is close. These have been two pretty close games up until the end. But the Warriors still walk away victorious. And now one game away from a quick day at the office. Look at those shots. 14-4 to four in favor of Indiana Tech. They had a ton of them. Stax gets his first goal of his whack career. Chippy piles on with another. Wyatt gets two. Two assists for Wyatt as well. Chippy got one. Concordia Z gets another goal. Three saves. Two shots. Eats with three saves and a shot. B-Dog with a save and a shot. So we are moments away here from game number three as the Warriors now up two games to one. And they've looked good. Like I said, adversity was thrown their way not having Kazi tonight, but it really hasn't seemed to affect things as they just keep on rolling. It doesn't matter who that third is right now. They are just rolling through and just staying consistent. Again, moments away here from Game 2. I'll remind everyone, again, right after this, we have Indiana Tech Valorant taking the stage. And tomorrow, the Warriors are back here again. We'll be taking on Siena Heights for Game 3 of the season. Just waiting for players to get in. I think players are in. We're going to get this party started. Sit back, relax, and enjoy Game 3. Between Indiana Tech and Concordia Ann Arbor is Chippy and Keats off to kick off. Goes pretty even. Z looking for the double tap off the backboard. He'll drop it down in front. Stack's able to send it out. Warriors look to come back the other way, but Keats has other ideas. 
Wyatt up over the top of his first touch, and now he'll just clear. Z caught awkward. Does Wyatt have the angle? No, Z gets back to close it off in time. And now stacks with time in the backfield. Takes one touch. Bumped off the ball there by Keats. Chippy up the right side while looks to pinch it back out towards the middle. Goes off the backboard. Wyatt is there. It's off the crossbar. Rebound by Stacks just a little bit too high. Warriors threatening early here in game three. But stay off the board. Wyatt to the backboard. Where is Stacks on the follow through? Soft touch turned away there by Z. Now Wyatt off the corner trying to bounce it back out in front. Keats will keep it back out to the side. Chippy looks to stay with it. Keats will send it back once more. Chippy forced to recoil here. Keats no boost in the tank. Now he'll turn. Wyatt to the backboard. Z's awkward. Chippy's up. And it's in the bottom right. Warriors will take the first goal of all three games so far. I didn't say that right. It really doesn't matter. Warriors strike first three straight times. And again, it's that combo of Chippy and Wyatt finding the backboard, supporting each other. It's worked. And it's continuing to work. We are 61 seconds exactly into game three. Warriors up one none. Now Chippy off the ceiling. Keats able to shut that one down. Wyatt towards the net. It's just high. Rebound looking for Stacks. That passed him. Concordia looking to equalize, and they will. Stacks a mistake on committal. And it took about 14 seconds for Concordia to respond. We are tied at one. 3.45 to go here in game three. Warriors and Cardinals. As this one goes to the near side. Z will watch this one go. Chippy. He's got to break back the other way. I don't think he's got the, way, got the ball, though. He's just going to hit reverse on it. Get a 50 with Z. Going to pop out towards the middle. Concordia just booms it downfield. Chippy looks to stick with it. No, it's Wyatt. Wyatt the low 50. Chippy around Z. One to beat. It's B-Dog. He's going to get demoed by Keats. Stacks coming in. A good 50-50 to the backboard. Keats will try to control it up the wall. Wyatt is there as this one drops back out in front. Once more here from Concordia. Chippy in the middle looking for stacks. He's not there and he's forced to recoil. And he'll just get one soft touch here to delay. Eats up the right wall. Tries to pop it out towards the middle. Stacks is up. Z is also up. To the backboard. Wyatt is there. One more touch. Still loose out in front as it rattles around near the near post for the Warriors. But Chippy comes back the other way. Now towards the net. He'll actually demo Keats this time. Wyatt looking to pop it high. It's shut away there by the 50. Wyatt now demos Keats. Chippy with a pat to the net and he's got it! Wyatt with the screenplay. It removes the defender and Chippy will walk it into the open net. Warriors up 2-1 just before the halfway point of game three. Two forty-seven to go here in the third game. Warriors looking to continue this winning streak they've started at the beginning of the year. Chippy off the ceiling now down to himself. B-Dog smacks it off the right wall. Looks to move it further but stacks will 50 him. Chippy is there. Watches B-Dog hit it into the sidewall. They're bumping each other. And finally, Stax comes away with the ball. He's actually got to break towards the net. Stax looking to get another one, and he's got two. It is 3-1 Warriors with 2.25 to go. And Stax, two-thirds of this series, he will get on the board. One game to get used to it, and he's right into it. 2.25 to go in game three. Concordia trailing by two. And a good performance again here by the Warriors, but there's another one. Z right off the kickoff. That's another one of those kickoff goals the Warriors have struggled with. And this time it's just a quick cheat from Z. Wyatt not able to stop the flick. Stack's not there to support. One goal game with 221 to go. It is Stacks. It is Z off the kickoff. This one bounces to the near side. Wyatt off the side wall looking for Chip. He'll find him. Looks to stay with it. Up the sidewall, into the corner. Keats with the 50. Flicks it out towards midfield. Wyatt and Stacks, there's another for Stacks! The 50-50 in the back of the net. Wyatt apparently wasn't involved according to the assist. It really looked like it. No, it's just a good 50 from Stacks straight into the yawning cage. The Warriors have doubled up again with 2.07 to go. And the beat goes on here for Stacks as now he's got three goals in three games. He'll try to pop it up. He's got the confidence right now. Keats will stay with it. Wyatt cuts it off to the sidewall. Looks to go towards the net. Off the post. Rebound out in front for Chippy. And the Warriors piling it on. It's 5-2. I mean speed. It's speed. 
Why it is just simply faster in that situation. One's merchant, that's really all I gotta say. Z and stacks off the kickoff. It's actually deflected wide there by Wyatt. Another scary kickoff for the Warriors. Doesn't seem to matter as Chippy looks to stay with it. Off the sidewall, drops it down in front, looking for the follow from Wyatt. He's gonna get it. Wyatt looking for another. Still loose in the corner, gets it through B Dog. Stacks looking for another. He's hungry. Not gonna find it. Chippy, does he have a double tap? I think he does. No, it's turned away there by Keats as B Dog looks to move it back the other way. Wyatt is there, B Dog downfield. Stacks not able to do much with it. Chippy will just take control. He's got time. He'll go around B Dog easily. He's got another to beat. Caught there, but deflected away by Keats. Stacks bumps him off the ball. Wyatt's got a path through Z. 50 on B Dog. Nets open, and Chippy has four here in game three, and the Warriors are up by four. It's 6 2. And the floodgates have started to open here for Concordia. 74 seconds to go. They've done well. Wyatt with a strange kickoff there. We have crossed the 70 second mark. A four goal lead for the Warriors as they look to sweep. Z off the corner, tries to bounce it back out in front. Wyatt one touch up, looks to stay with it. Tried to come back down, not able to control his B-Dog back the other way. Chippy off the corner, tries to drop it out in front. Keats will clear it away from Stack. 60 seconds to go. Here in game three, Concordia just looking to get something here. They'll cross it through the box, but there's no one home. And Chippy clears it out wide. No boost in the tank. Wyatt is there. B-Dog will be up for it. 40 seconds to go. Chippy is there. It gets through him. Z into the corner. Wyatt watches. Keats is there. Wyatt following through from the ceiling. B-Dog off the post. The rebound not there for Concordia. 30 seconds to go in game three. Chippy with the 50 into the corner. Keats is there as it pops high and rolls around the backboard. Stacks one more touch out in front. Looking for Wyatt. Why not get seven? 19 seconds to go. The Warriors are up by five, and they will improve to 2-0 on the season. Concordia, 19 seconds away from falling to 1-2. And, and again, I'll remind everyone at home watching wherever you may be, they will play Concordia one more time during the WAC regular season. And we will see what that matchup looks like second half of the season. Wyatt the low 50 on Z. This is just a formality. 10 seconds to go. Wyatt one touchdown into the corner. Chippy just following through on it. B-Dog one more try through the middle. It doesn't happen. The Warriors 2-0 on the season as they will sweep Concordia Ann Arbor. Now it hits the ground and now it's official. Indiana Tech 3-0 over Concordia Ann Arbor will rise to 2-0. And next on the list is Sienna Heights, which is a daunting roster. But again, Chippy showing up with a major performance, four goals. Wyatt got one, Stax got two in that game. But that does it from me. Again, my name is Brendan Miller. We'll be back here shortly as Indiana Tech looks to take on, or Indiana Tech Valorant, my apologies, will be moving up onto stream here shortly. Again, my name is Brendan Miller. I will see you guys soon. Take care. See you tomorrow.